Hello. This is a new series where I go over your guys' controversial opinions and hot takes, and I'll let you know how unbelievably dumb you are for believing it, or maybe, just maybe, I might agree. Black Ops 1 wasn't that good. I don't agree, but I don't necessarily disagree with this one. To form an opinion about if a game is good or not, you 100% need the context for when that game came out. You have to remember that Black Ops 1 was released over 11 years ago at this point. BO1 literally laid the groundwork for all future future zombies games. It took this very bare bones horde style game in World at War and expanded upon it giving it so much more personality and character. Without the original Black Ops it completely goes without saying that we never would have had Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 or even the modern zombies games. But at the same time I honestly do agree that Black Ops 1 zombies hasn't necessarily aged that well. Most of the original Black Ops experience doesn't really hold up to this day. It gets very boring very quickly to run around and circles on Kino or Ascension, and I personally never really get the urge to go back and play on these maps, so this entire comment is just kind of a hit and a miss for me. Die Rise would be a top tier map with the correct changes slash additions. I disagree. I 100% don't agree with this comment at all. I think the main problem of Die Rise is unfixable, and that is, it's just plain boring. I feel like people have been saying for years that if they could choose one map to be remastered, it would be Die Rise, and they always say that it'll be so much better on a a newer engine or with a few tweaks here or there and personally i just don't see it i went ahead and thought of five changes off the bat that i'd make to die rise one the much needed addition of phd flopper two a rework of the who's who perk three an improvement to the levels of saturation to prevent the map from looking ugly and dull four some sort of system in place to control the elevators or even just a vertical fast travel system to speed up the process dramatically and five of course the ability to hold more than one part at a time to prevent it from taking an unnecessarily long amount of time to build the trample steam in this liquefier. But even with all of these changes, I still just feel like Die Rise is an objectively boring map, and I feel like the amount of time that they would need to put in to fix this map is just not worth it. The chaos story needs to continue, it had a very interesting storyline. I agree, but this will literally never happen. So I've never personally been that into the zombie story, no matter which storyline it is, but I want chaos to come back for one reason and one reason only. The quality of maps. The chaos story was set up in a way that made it so we got these crazy maps set in fantastic locations from the literal Titanic to ancient Greece and I really want more of that. Anyone who played the Black Ops 4 chaos maps just knows how much love and passion were poured into making these maps and I want more of that from zombies. Personally I hate playing zombies in Nazi research facility number 49 which is how a lot of Cold War felt to me. I'm just hoping that the next Treyarch game, although the chaos crew specifically will never come back, sets up the story in a way that makes it make sense to give us these crazy map locations. Whenever I say something bad about Vanguard, a lot of people tell me the devs were overworked, it's Activision's fault, but that's not a valid excuse for me. If I'm paying for something, I expect value for my money. If I don't get good value, then I'll complain. If you go to a restaurant and order a steak, but the waiter brings you a fish instead and says we are trying our best, we're just understaffed, so don't blame us. In that situation, most people wouldn't care they're understaffed. Most people would get pissed off and complain. I agree with one small caveat. The reason why people like me tend to put such a large emphasis on it not being Treyarch's fault is because there are people in the community who think that it actually is and choose to blame them for the game's failure. But there's absolutely no one to blame other than the billion dollar corporation that doesn't give the developers the money and resources needed to not wear themselves thin. I think that this comments metaphor is actually really good but I'll extend it. It would be like that that restaurant that you were at was one of thousands of restaurants owned by one corporation, all of which are understaffed. So complaining by saying it's the waiter's fault or even that it's that restaurant's location as a whole's fault is only counterproductive and just plain factually incorrect. Like other Activision Blizzard games are going through the exact same thing right now. I play a lot of Overwatch, in fact it's literally my favorite game of all time, but that game hasn't got any content in the past two years because people higher up at Activision choose to not give the developer team the resources it needs to make quality content. So to just make it clear, it's absolutely no one's fault other than the 20 plus billion dollar corporation whose only goal at the end of the day is to please their greedy stockholders by turning a profit. Sorry, that was a bit of a rant. Anyways, on a positive note, Infinite Warfare has the best set of boss fights overall from any zombies mode and every map is great except Beast. I agree.
Infinite Warfare is very underrated as a whole, especially when it comes to how great the Easter eggs and boss fights were on that game. Were they the very best in the series? I mean, I don't know about that, but they definitely were amazing. And I think the only reason this is an unpopular opinion is because just of how little people actually played Infinite Warfare Zombies. Thank you for watching and leave an unpopular opinion in the comments if you want to be in the next video.